If you've played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, you might have noticed that at the start of the game, there's three Pokeballs in Oak's lab. One of them you get as your starter, and the other goes to your rival. In one game you'd get Eevee, and the other Pikachu. But in neither version would you receive the Pokemon in the third Pokeball. So what Pokemon is hidden inside the last Pokeball in Oak's lab? Who is the third starter in the Pokemon Let's Go games? There are two possible Pokemon to fit this bill, but one is overwhelmingly more likely to be the third starter. These two are Cubone and Clefairy. First, let's talk about Cubone. Cubone is the first Pokemon that Professor Oak shows you when you start the game. Why does this matter? Well, in the original Pokemon Yellow, which was used as a base for Pokemon Let's Go, the first Pokemon Professor Oak shows off is the one you end up getting as your starter. However, I doubt Cubone would have been a proposed third mascot for the Let's Go games since it has a type advantage against Pikachu, the face of Pokemon, and I doubt they would willingly point out that their starter is much stronger than the series main mascot. This leads me to believe that Clefairy is the third starter of the game. My Masco, why Clefairy? That's kinda random. It is very random, except for the fact that Clefairy was initially supposed to be the face of Pokemon, not Pikachu. That's right, Ash was initially supposed to get a Clefairy as his starter, but was later replaced with the now beloved Pikachu. Simply leaving Clefairy as a potential third starter that we never get to see would be a great homage to the world of Pokemon that never came to be. Except that this idea doesn't really prove that Clefairy was the third option. It would be nice if it were that simple, but alas, we need some actual proof. Sadly, we only get a bunch of hints instead. Let's go over them anyways. One possible hint that we can get is in the Game Freak development office room in Celadon City, where you can see posters on the wall for the original Pokemon games as well as the sprite of Pikachu on the calendar from Pokemon Yellow. But if you look around the room, you see that there is a plush of a certain Pokemon sitting on one of the desks, and that Pokemon is none other than our suspect, Clefairy. The only other place we can see a Pokemon plush close to a Nintendo Switch is in your room, where the plush is that of your own starter. And while the starter plush will vary depending on your game, the Clefairy plush will still be in the Game Freak room. This kind of mimics the whole Pokeball situation where regardless of your starter, Clefairy is always left out. We can follow another trail of plushies, which I realize sounds a bit insane now that I'm saying it out loud, to the Vermilion City Pokemon Fan Club, where we see a Pikachu staring at a drawer with three plushies on it, a Pikachu, an Eevee, and a Clefairy. And that Pikachu is staring dead ahead of the Clefairy. Also, on the portrait of the chairman, we can see him with only Pikachu and Eevee. Once again, the Clefairy is obviously missing from this picture. Unless, of course, you go a bit to the right, where there's a cork board with a huge poster of a Clefairy. There's so much juxtaposition in this room, that I'm left feeling like Clefairy was a close runner-up to Eevee for a potential starter in the Let's Go games. Anyways, there is one more pretty cool hint to Clefairy, and that hint can be found amongst the legendary trainers. In your fight against Pokemon Trainer Red, he uses his signature Pikachu at the start of the battle. However, when you go to battle Pokemon Trainer Green, who has never made an appearance in a Pokemon game before, what Pokemon does she send out first? Spoiler alert, it ain't Clefairy. Wait, what? Nope, she sends out a Clefable, the evolved form of Clefairy. Bavasco, it evolved! That's right, it evolved. The only two starters who never get to evolve are your own and Red's. With all these hints dropped in the game, I'm left thinking that Clefairy is the third option in the Pokemon Let's Go games. But this doesn't give us any actual proof, so I guess the third starter will forever remain an unsolvable mystery. Either way, let me know in the comments below, who do you think is the third starter in the games and why? And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, even though I doubt I'll be making more in this specific style. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya in the comments. Hmm, I wonder what this game would feel like if you got Clefairy as your starter.